Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the December Boxy Luxe unboxing and try on. I have not actually looked at any of the products in the box yet. I have just received it and I'm doing this video and I'm super excited. I do have a Boxy Charm subscription and then I also added on the Boxy Luxe. I did get the September version and I have some products from that that have made it to my favorites every month, uh, particularly the Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. I love it. So I'm really excited to dig in. So this is what the box looks like when it comes in the mail. It's gigantic. It's like two of my heads, one, two. <laughs> um, so it looks like this. And then when you open it up, it says, hello, charmer. And all of your stuff is in here. So before I go ahead and unbox everything, we can look at this little guy here. It shows all of the products that we get in the box. And something smells really good. Tis the season. Oh, I got a face brush set, glitter lip paint, violet boss palette, body wash infused buffer, pro collagen marine cream, Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette, okay. Royal Treatment Mascara. Mini Straightener, which is what I picked. And a Crimes of Beauty Wristlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of those things and we'll be right back. Okay, so the first product that I wanna talk about is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $45. I am dying to see what this looks like on the inside, sure. Really pretty. This is what it looks like on the back. Gorgeous, love that packaging. And then it has a nice mirror. Here are the colors. Very pretty, super neutral. Swatch one. Ooh. Okay. It's a shimmer. That one is cool beans. Ooh. This one's crystal. Those are pretty. Okay, okay. I'm really excited to use this. The next thing that we got is this Luxie Rose Gold Complete Face Brush Set. So that's really nice. This retails for $65. Ooh, there's a smell. There's a smell. Okay, so we have eight brushes in the set. This one is the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender Brush. It's pretty soft, actually. Okay, I would try this out. I'm gonna try it out. I don't normally do brushes, but I'll try it out. This is called the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Maybe for like under eye, setting the under eye. And then we have the Luxie 680 Pro Precision Brush. It is very dense and probably for like cream contour, which I don't really do. Then you have the Luxie 229 Brush. This is called the Tapered Blending Brush. And it does seem pretty good. I like Luxie brushes for the eyes, so I will try this out. Then you have the Luxie 213 Eye Shading Brush. This is for like packing on color onto your lid. You could even use it to blow out the colors under your eye. And then you have the 221 Flat Shader Brush. So it is just a thin, flat brush that you would typically use to press colors into the lash line. Then you have the Lexi 201. This is just a spoolie for brushing out your 
lashes or your brows. So I might actually keep this one clean for my eyelashes. The last brush in this set is a Luxie 160 lip brush. So it does come in a little travel situation like this and then you pull it out and put it on the end and you have a lip brush. And this is nice, you can use this with bullet lipsticks even if you want to and it just helps you get like a nice solid line. The next thing is from Spongel, Sponge, Spongel, it's probably French. Um, it's a body wash infused buffer. This retails for $20. So let's take a look. It's supposed to cleanse, exfoliate, massage, and nourish. Oh, okay, so it's like already infused and it's kind of like a little spongy situation. So, oh, it's nice and soft. So basically when you get it wet, you just use it like you would like a puff you know, but you don't have to put soap in it. So, that's pretty cool. The next product is the Tarte Glitter Lip Paint, and I got the shade Strike Gold, and this retails for $20. Ooh! Can you see, like, the little reflex? Wow! The next product I was able to choose between a palette and a straightener. So I did choose the little mini straightener. It retails for $75, which is a great deal. So let's open her up. On the front it says, it's a girl's world, which is super cute. And it comes in a little travel case, like that. So it has a plug. Oh, it's so cute. Yay, I got a purple one. It's so cute, like especially for my long hair. Oh my God, how funny. Okay, we'll be using this tonight. I can touch up my pre prior straighten a little bit, test it out. This is so cute. The next item we got is a wristlet from Crimes of Beauty and it says Glam AF which is super cute and it's got a little gold zipper. It's a wristlet and on the inside it has like a little portable charger. So it has this little button on the side here and you pull up on it and it has like an iPhone charger and then it has a spot for your USB if you don't have an iPhone and then they have this port and then it charges over here. And you can just put that in here. And it also comes with like a little mini USB cord for charging purposes. So that's really cute and really nice and travel friendly. And then the bag has like little pockets kind of on it, the inside. So it has like a little separator in the middle. So that's really nice and that retails for $22. The next item is from Wander Beauty and it is the Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette. So the outside looks kind of like that. Let's get on the inside. I'm excited to see what this looks like. So here is the outside, similar packaging to the inside. It does have a little mirror and then these are the shades. Whoa, that's pigmented, okay. Okay. Okay, so that's what that looks like. The highlighter's pretty. Don't think I would really use much except for the blush, just because I think the highlighter is going to be a little bit dark for my skin. But they would also make really pretty eyeshadows. This palette retails for $26. The next product is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, and it retails for $89. 
so that's a good deal and it's an anti-wrinkle day cream fine lines wrinkles firm smooth hydrates all right let's see what it's like Ooh. Not much of a smell. It looks pretty thick, like a cream. Let's put that on right now, y'all. Don't forget down the neck, especially with collagen stuff. We all have tech neck nowadays. Okay, that's nice. The last product is a mascara. This is from Lorac. This is the Royal Treatment Mascara. So there is a black side, and I think there's a blue side. Yeah, oh. And it's called the shade. Oh, it's a primer. It's a purple primer. Hmm. What does it say here? It's a blue tinted primer. It achieves the darkest lashes. Okay, so the blue part is a priming part and it helps give you dark lashes. Okay, we will definitely be trying this out. And this mascara retails for $24. So all of those products are a grand total of $386 and I got all of these products for $50. So I think that's actually really great. And I cannot wait to get started in all of this stuff. So let's do it. All right, so I primed my face with the Farsali Skin Tune and we are gonna move on to foundation. It is day night tonight, so I am using my tried and true, the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Yes, on this combo. So I just like to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. Mix it together, and I'm gonna dot it on my face. To blend that out, I'm gonna be using this Lexi brush I got in my box. This is the 532 Round Top Blender. And I think I have mentioned that I'm not a big brush person when it comes to foundation. I've always wanted to be. I can't get on the bandwagon. So I'm just gonna stipple. Hmm. Actually, actually really like that. Okay, okay, okay. I can get into it. I'm just gonna conceal with the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I'm gonna prime my lids with this too, I think. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. And I'm going to tap that out. To set the concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm also going to set that with the 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I'm going to set under the eyes and around my face with that. Forehead. Okay, I'm gonna go put my brows and my bronzer on and we will be right back to do a blush. Okay, so my brows and bronzer are on. I'm gonna go in with the Wander Beauty Dust to Dawn palette and I'm gonna go in with that Havana Nights. Let's see if that blends. That's pretty. It did blend out nicely. All right, so let's zoom you in and start on our eyes. So here's a look at the skin. You can see the blush is really pretty and actually the brushes did pretty well. I don't think my pores are like too defined or anything like that. I think it looks good. So we're gonna start on our eyes. I love it when a palette can bend all the way. Yes. So I'm gonna go into transition on a Morphe M511. We're gonna blend that into our transition area, which is our crease, and a little bit up to the brow bone. Never tried a Violet Voss palette before, so let's see how this goes. 
So far the shadows are easy to blend. They're pretty pigmented and there is not a lot of kickback in the palette. So I am digging it. Now with the Luxie 229 tapered brush, I'm gonna be going to, into Are You Kidding Me? Right here. And I'm gonna focus that right in the crease. Very smooth on the blend. Again with the first brush. I'm gonna take that same brush into brownie points. And I'm gonna put that in the same area. Just a little bit lower. Okay, so unfortunately my camera deleted some of my footage. So I just wanted to show that I used this crystal shade with my Luxie 213 eye shading brush. And I put that in the center and I did spray it with some Fix Plus first. I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab my BH Cosmetics brush and that Are You Kidding Me shade. And I'm going to blend that under the lower lash line. And then I'm going to use the Luxie 221 in a mixture of teddy bear and brownie points. And I'm going to push that up against the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back into my BH Cosmetics brush. Blend that out. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the Star Looks Eye Pencil in Topaz, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. And then I'm just going to quickly blend. Ooh. I'm just going to use a little bit of the LA Colors Glitter Liner, and this is in Sparkler. Needed more, you guys. Needed more. I like to pat the liners out a little bit so they don't cake up. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone and inner corner with the same highlighter I used on my face, the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. Pretty. All right, for mascara, I'm gonna be using that Lorac Royal Treatment, and it has that blue tinted primer. So, let's dig in, I guess. I'm gonna go in with the mascara side. I think I needed to let it dry a little bit more. I'm just gonna use the 201 to kind of spoolie these out a little. Ooh, this is pretty. Alright, so this is what we have going. I don't think I'm gonna use this lip, but let me just put it on really quick so you guys can see. It smells like sweet smelling. It's a little gritty. So there's the sparkly lip, but again, I just don't think that it goes with the silver bits that we have going on right now, so I am going to put on Kylie Malibu. Then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Jouer Bear. Pretty, ooh, girl, hey. 
Look at that hair. So pretty. Hmm. Okay, so now I want to try out the straightener. So let me go plug it in really quick. Okay, we're plugged in. So turned it on. I wonder how you know when it's hot. Ooh, it is warm. Can't wait to straighten my baby hairs. Just wanna like get under her and get my baby hairs. definitely straightens y'all it's kind of nice gets right up in there yeah that piece of hair is pretty warm cute I think that's perfect for like traveling I'm obviously not gonna use it for every day because I have so much hair it's kind of ridiculous and I have a chi but for travel to like not have to lug my chi around I'm kind of digging it huh that actually works pretty good yeah even like the little ones at the very top of your head you can get those this would be nice for somebody with like short hair. I think it works really good. Look. Wow. I am highly impressed with this little straightener. I'm really glad that I picked the straightener over the other eyeshadow palette. I have so many palettes. I'm down for a little straightener. Wow. I'm impressed. I must say, I am impressed. Okay guys, so this is the final look using all of the items from my BoxyCharm. Woo, I think it turned out so pretty. Uh, I love the eyeshadow. I am so digging this look. I love the palette. I thought the eyeshadows were really easy to blend. I actually do like the mascara. I think it gives it, you know, like some lift and some volume. I don't think it looks bad at all. I also really liked the brush set. I think my foundation looks really good and the eyeshadow looks really good. So that's awesome. I also liked the moisturizer. I thought that was a nice little addition and I do feel like my pores look nice because I'm nice and hydrated and I also really like the straightener I think it's such a cute idea it's so small and travel friendly and it really did like straighten my hair I also like the blush I need to try that palette a little bit more to kind of give my review but for maybe somebody with a little bit of a darker complexion it would probably be so pretty so those are my final thoughts on December boxy Lux. BoxyCharm subscription. If you'd like to sign up for BoxyCharm or BoxyLux, please see the description box below for my referral link because we can both get a little item if you use my link. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes. Really? <laughs> Did that just happen?